If you feel like some unexpected things kept popping up in your emotional state today, I might know why. My name is Sarah. I'm a mom and I'm an astrologist. I share this kind of thing. If you like it, stick around. If you don't, drink your water. You'll be thanking me later. If you prefer to get this stuff in writing, check out the space you click. It teaches you how to make your own birth chart for yourself, for your kids. Newsletter, sign up is there in my Patreon as well. It's an amazing community. You should join it. When we have 50 people who join at any level, start giving away a free birth chart reading every month. So we have an aspect in the sky called the Scorpio moon is opposite Uranus, which is in Taurus. The Scorpio moon I talked about yesterday as it likes truth. It likes to dive in. It's a, it's a pretty deep water sign. It can be fear-based if it's in the low road, um, scared of everything. At the same time, it likes to figure out why. There's a lot of figuring out stuff. And then it's opposite Uranus in Taurus. And Uranus is the planet that is all about change, meaning, oh, you want to do it this way? No, we're going to do it that way. It's kind of contrary. It's also very electric, like your nervous system electric. It also is very forward thinking. So you might be having thoughts and feelings about your future and how can you balance it. And also surprising things may have happened or may happen throughout the day. It comes to the head of it. So they, the apex of it is at 7.24 p.m. So we're building to this all day long today. My solution, if things get hard, is how can you meet in the middle? How can you make it so that you feel safe, you feel like you can be having this trust with somebody while things are not stable? How can you do that? Well, you can lean into the moon. The moon is a water sign, so drinking your water, taking your Epsom salt bath, that might actually feel very comforting to your nervous system. If you're a parent, realizing bedtime might be a little bit of a struggle today, so starting at early might be helpful. Hearing no also might be a thing you hear. So how can you enable your child or the person that's telling you no to give you a different idea? Because it might be brilliant. Uranus is known for its brilliance. Let me know if this helps.